everyone, welcome back to My Porch Prints. I'm Stephanie, and today we're gonna to be making this shabby Victorian mini folio. And you can see it comes with cute little um, tuck spots and ephemera and just a whole bunch of fun little pieces. So we're gonna be putting this together today. And if you've purchased our other mini folio kit, our previous one, um, it does go together a little bit differently. So if you're putting this one together, you'll want to look for the directions that come with this kit, the printed ones that come in the files, and that's going to tell you how to put this one together. But today for the shabby Victorian one, we're going to be putting this one together. And as you can see, it comes with a choice of four different covers, and I printed these on cardstock. And we're going to just be making one of these today, but if you want to make all four, you'll need to remember to print the pages and the ephemera four times so that you have enough for each uh, folio. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've cut out all of my pieces and I'm going to go ahead and start with the folio cover that I've chosen. And what I want to do first is fold on this kind of center fold line. And you want to align things really well so that they don't get too far off. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and just glue this together. And then we're gonna go ahead and fold it on the rest of the lines here. Once we do that, you can see that our folio shape is starting to come together. And we're gonna go ahead and just trim off this little bit of excess around the curve here. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is locate this piece. It's called Folio C. And we're gonna go ahead and just fold this on the long center line. And we'll go ahead and glue that. And then we're going to fold it again just on each line. There we go. And mine needs a little bit of trim work. I have a little bit of white showing, so I'm going to trim that up just a little bit. And if you wanted to, you could also ink your edges at this time. I'm not going to be doing that, but you could use some distress ink if you want to and go around the edges of things. And it should look just kind of like this when you're finished. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach that inside our folio cover. So we'll add a little glue to the back. And we'll just attach that right right inside this left side here. And the way my folio is going to open is kind of like this. But if for some reason that feels wrong to you and you're able to, um, I think one of the designs is directional, but the other ones I think you could possibly switch it around if you really wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and just do mine this direction. It reminds me of my old trapper keeper that I used to have in school. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to locate this piece. It's called inner folio size B. And we're gonna, again, just fold it on this center line. And then we're gonna glue that as well. And we'll just trim off this excess. 
and then we're gonna fold it on this line. And then this curvy piece is just gonna fold around. And that's gonna make us a little kind of notebook folio that we're gonna be using later. We'll set that aside for a moment. Okay, so next we're gonna be locating these size B pages. These are the smaller pages and there's two strips of them. And there's this white strip that we're gonna to use to hook them together, just like this. So I'll apply glue to this white page and I'm just gonna glue this over the top of it. And then we're gonna be folding these accordion style. And for these, we're going to start with this first piece and we're gonna fold it backwards, just like this. And then we're gonna continue just kind of going back and forth, back and forth. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip these over and we're not gonna to touch the first or the last page, but these pages we're going to glue together. So page number two and number three here, we're gonna to glue together. And same things with the next ones and the next ones. And what that's gonna do is it's going to give us some pages that we can flip. And some people ask me why I like to use Fabri-Tac glue and it's because it's not a water-based glue and so it won't wrinkle your pages. So if you're having trouble with your pages wrinkling, it's probably your glue, it's probably a water-based glue. And I really love Fabri-Tac, it dries quickly. And if you're wondering, uh, it's not a paid promotion, <laughs> but I do have um, an Amazon shop and I do um, recommend Fabri-Tac in my Amazon shop because I use it and I like it. Okay, so now we've got this little notebook and we're gonna put this inside that little folio that we made earlier. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take that first and last page that we didn't glue, and we're gonna glue them inside of our little folio piece. Just apply some glue to your pages, just like this, and it goes inside of this little folio B. Just like that. And we'll wanna make sure that the pages are fitting in there snugly and then this will fold shut when you're finished. And it's gonna be a little bulky, don't worry about that. It's gonna to wanna to create kind of a little spine here where the pages are and here as well. And there we go, now we've got a cute little booklet. So I'm gonna set that aside, let that dry. And next we're gonna locate our size A pages and these are the larger pages. And we're gonna go ahead and do kind of a similar thing. We're gonna fold them accordion style and glue them. And then we're gonna attach them into our large folio, well, mini folio, <laughs> but the larger folio piece here, the cover. So for this one, we're going to actually fold this one backwards like this, oops, first page. And then we'll start this direction. Oops, I don't think I got that quite far enough. And then again, we're gonna leave this white page alone. I'm gonna flip that over and we're gonna glue these pages together. So leave this white page alone. Don't put any glue on that one. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute before we try to attach it just so that the pages don't get stuck together. 
And then we're gonna use this white page to glue this into our folio cover. So I'm gonna put a little glue on the back here. And that's gonna go in this right panel here. You can see kind of how that's gonna fit inside. And again, I'm just gonna let that dry for a moment. And while that's drying, we're gonna finish this last set of pages, these um, kind of notebook pages with the lines on them. And same thing as before, we're just going to be folding them accordion style. So I'm gonna fold this first one backwards. give you another little booklet and then you can see this little piece sticking out this little decorative piece and we're just going to apply some glue and fold that over to complete our little notebook set that aside for a moment to dry and then we're gonna locate this kind of hourglass shaped piece and we're gonna fold these two tabs the one on the top and the bottom okay and then we're going to apply glue to these tabs and we're gonna put it on that blank page in our folio And I'm just going to kind of make sure no glue is stuck inside of here because we want something to go inside of here when we're finished. And now we're going to go ahead and start applying our pockets to our little pages here. And the kit comes with these little tiny pockets and you can use as many or as few as you want. And the long ones kind of go the long way on the page and then the short ones go the short way. So we're just going to fold these tabs. Okay. And then we can just kind of apply these wherever they fit best. Okay, and while those pockets are drying, we can go ahead and assemble some more of our ephemera. So we've got these pieces that kind of fold in half and become just little foldable papers. So I'm just gonna fold them in half and glue them, but you can get creative with these and use them however you want. You don't have to do it just the way I do it here. It's like any junk journal, you know? You can take kind of what was created and then just make it your own and use your own style to decorate.
And then we also have this little um, envelope. And if you wanted to, you could, you know, um, cover this side with some paper, just glue some pretty papers to this side. I might go ahead and do that since I've got some scraps here. Um, and these scraps actually came from a kit that matches this. It's our Shabby Victorian scrap pack. And I used it to make a journal. So um, if you kind of like these style of papers, you might want to check that out. I'll put a link down below for that tutorial and also for the scrap pack. But I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this onto here. And then we'll just fold on the lines. Okay, and now we can kind of finish up with decorating and assembling our mini folio. I kind of want to use this as a closure for this piece, but it's paper, so it's a little flimsy. So I'm going to back it with a little bit of cardstock and see if I can get that to become a piece that will close this. I'm just going to borrow a little cardstock from the cover pieces. And then I'll just apply glue to this left side and that will become a little tuck for me. And then I'm going to locate this kind of little flowery postcard and fold these tabs. And then I'm gonna apply glue and I'm going to stick that onto my um, little folding piece here. I'm trying to decide if I want it on the front. I don't think so. I'm gonna put it on the inside because I have a different plan for the front. Okay, so I think we're ready to start filling our little pockets soon here. There's just one more thing, a couple more things I'd like to do. One is I'm going to locate this piece and I'm going to make it into a little closure. And again, I think I'm going to reinforce it with some cardstock just because I don't want it to rip or come apart. Okay, and to do this, I've got some Velcro dots and I'm going to go ahead and just cut them in half. And I'm going to glue this. Let me see if I can get a little clip here. Get these pages out of the way for a minute. So we can see what we're doing. I'm going to glue this little circle onto this top piece. Just half of it. And then I'm going to add my Velcro dot to this bottom half, just like this. And then my other Velcro dot, I'm going to put the Velcro side together and then I'm going to close this. like that. There we go. And that'll give us a little Velcro closure. 
And if you're looking for Velcro dots, I believe I have some in my Amazon shop as well. And the links for that will be down below. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish decorating this mini folio and you can just follow along and maybe get some ideas for how you want to decorate yours. Okay, so we have finished our mini folio. Let's go ahead and take a look at it.
Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye!